so this research and international partnership actually began more than a decade ago for me uh, in, as an, um, an expansion of my interest in looking at breast cancer disparities in the United States between African American women and white American women. And of course it's been well documented over the years now that uh, black women in the United States are more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer at younger ages and we are more likely to be diagnosed with uh, what appear to be biologically more aggressive cancers. And one of the questions has always been whether these types of disparities are solely related to socioeconomic differences or if they might be also related to primary biologic differences related to African ancestry and the genetics of breast cancer. And that's uh, the, the issue that led me to start working in, uh, in Ghana. We wanted to explore the possibility that African ancestry in and of itself might be a risk factor for developing a biologically aggressive pattern of uh, the disease of breast cancer. And so I've been extremely fortunate and, uh, and, and have been quite honored to be able to partner with the cancer treating facilities at the Comfernochi Teaching Hospital and the oncology team at this hospital in Kumasi, Ghana, in studying the breast cancer burner of uh, Ghanaian women. And Ghana is the perfect country to partner with, not only because it's a beautiful country with a, a beautiful population, but also because its location in western sub-Saharan Africa is in fact an area where we expect to have shared ancestry between contemporary Ghanaian women and contemporary African American women because of the geography of the colonial era uh, slave trade. So this uh, research um, uh, partnership began as an effort to study the breast cancer burden in both uh, populations of women, but it's actually grown into much more than that. On the research area, we have indeed documented that African Ghanaian women from Sub-Saharan Western Africa do have a uh, pattern of breast cancer that is remarkably similar to the pattern of breast cancer that we see in African American women. That pattern being a very young age at diagnosis, more advanced stage distribution, and what we have most recently learned is that the risk of triple negative cancers the biologically more challenging or more aggressive breast cancers to treat. These types of cancers are more common in African American women and they are more common in African women, uh, especially Western Sub-Saharan African women such as Ghanaian women. So we have learned some fascinating uh, uh, things in terms of the pattern of breast cancer leading us to want to explore the uh, genetics of breast cancer in women with African ancestry even more aggressively. But we've also learned some wonderful, exciting, and very, very gratifying lessons in terms of how to improve the standards of breast health care in uh, countries with low and middle income, uh, countries that are not as affluent as uh, the, the, in the Americas and in Europe. And from that perspective, this international partnership has been particularly rewarding. We have opportunities to um, implement a two-way street of cultural and academic exchange where students and trainees from the University of Michigan can spend time in Ghana to learn about healthcare delivery systems in Africa. And we've had wonderful opportunities to bring our Ghanaian colleagues over to the University of Michigan to participate in various uh, educational exchange programs and training programs.